Let's get closer to the person on the 1230 Hangout with So Profound. Special guest is no stranger to the Soul Avenue. He came three weeks ago and totally blew my mind. He's my big brother and he's your uncle if you're young enough, but he can be your big brother too if you're like me. His name is Monom Kundu. Yeah. <laughs> Sisi Mm-hmm. And then drop out, uh, dropped out um, around age uh, 10, 10, 11, 12. But it wasn't really dropping out at the time, guy, because most of the choices are not your choices at exactly, the time. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. So I stopped going when I was around 11, 12, and then I started going back again in 1994. Mm-hmm. Yeah. How old are you in 1994? 1994, I was 23. 23? Yeah. And now you're going there, now you're playing and you're doing all no, that. I, no, these days I'm not going to church anymore. I'm, no, no, no. I'm praying at When tw- 23, when you're 23. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. It, 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 23, I went back to church. I went oh, back to church. Oh, man. Ah, oh, shucks. You know, I don't even know where to start. I've got a lot of things I want us to talk about. Okay. But you, you had a very interesting childhood. Yeah. You, you, it was very dynamic. Many ups and downs. Mm-hmm. Mm. Do, do, do you know why, why I say it was a very challenging, interesting childhood? Is you went to three hundred schools, <laughs> <laughs> and, and the, here's the crazy thing: you're, uh, you're going to to a Group A school on one end, and at the other end, you're going to like a school in the rural areas. Exactly. And you're also going to some school in the ghetto yeah. somewhere. Yeah. And you're also going to another school, which is like a private school. In terms of standards, how yeah. were you managing? Can we start there? <laughs> um, first of all, my father was a salesman, mm-hmm. so um, he was always um, moving uh, cities. So that was the first reason why I was changing uh, from school to school. Um, and then um, when I was in form two, mm-hmm. um, I know. I think when I was in grade seven, my parents separated, mm-hmm. so that also affected how my schooling was going to go about. Because um, it sometimes uh, my mother failed to raise the school fees, I had to stay at home, and then the other time my aunt had called me to live with her in the rural areas, Kwachikwaka, mm-hmm. uh, Pashapa. So that's how I got to learn in um, Chikwaka. That's uh, an area close to Murewa. Mm-hmm. And then I came back to Arab. Yeah, quite bored. Mm. Then I came back to um, Focus I three. That's where I did my form three and form four. Mm-hmm. So yeah, the schools were many. Many and schools. Very different. And <laughs> very different. How did you manage that? Because you were just you're just a little boy at the time, trying to figure out not just life, but a lot of dynamics in your own family. That your parents had separated and that your father was in prison. Mm. Yeah. I think it helped me to quickly to, to learn the art of uh, quickly uh, mixing up with people because uh, you know how it is when you get to a new area you have to meet new people new friends so dango masa kam ka art ke uti panusha ka pawa na di feel out of place um, if you read my book panaga shukam fakos ndi nda atos ko eda chi new kama ndi rum nyoani. I love so, God when yeah. I read that story. Yeah. <laughs> By the way, if you, if you don't know the book we're talking about, Monum Kundi has a book. It's out. It's called Following the Melody. Yeah. Yes. And it's his autobiography of his journey so far. It's incredible. You should go pick it up. <laughs> you totally not just learn the history of the country, but you also learn just the workings of the music industry. Yeah. You you learn it from the, from that end. But... What really got to me is at some point your your father was was arrested. Yeah. Yes, and he had to serve time. Mm. Tell me about that whole period. Were you visiting him? What was happening? Yeah. Um, y- yes, I was visiting him here and there. But um, the 
biggest challenge was uh, the financial situation at home. Mm-hmm. Was, uh, it was also after they separated, my parents had separated. So the separation affected us financially, and then mm-hmm. the prison thing further um, uh, complicated things. So it was so a very, How long did it serve time? I think for uh, for one and a half years. So one and a half years? Yeah. So oh, that should have been difficult. I don't see how going to get something here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was a very difficult period, period but uh, we managed to pull through because my mother was very hardworking. Mm-hmm. So she was always into selling things and... Um, so she was a very strong woman and uh-huh. very entrepreneur. She was an entrepreneur. Mdara uh, Chiriguel? They both passed away. My they father, both passed away. My I'm father sorry passed that. away 2013 and my mother passed away 2007. Mm, how was your relationship with your father by the time he passed? Um, we were in very good books. At first, uh, our relationship was strained because he didn't want me to get into music. Mm, yeah. But he, <laughs> <laughs> but when he saw that I was uh, adamant, he just gave up. And you said he first saw you playing at your wedding. Yeah, that was his very first time to see me play at my official wedding day. That was um, 1998. So um, uh, he was very excited to see me play. And later on, he was... Um, he accepted my, my, my decision because I was going to ah, okay, I'm going to go to the house. At first, he was very skeptical because they grew up seeing my musicians. Yeah, my mother is a dog. I am a dog. I am a dog. I am a dog. I am a dog. So that was his picture of the musicians. You were my musicians and Gasgarore. I'm going to arrive back in the day. No, they were my musicians. I'm going to go to Those are the guys who are going to study music. I'm going to go to Zimbabwe. 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 Hygiene in Gary Myers, lost, lost. So, what can she be studying music? Studying music. My parents, as a big way, generation, they didn't want to see their kids playing music. Mm-hmm. So, it was a struggle. So, I was trying to prove to him that you can be a musician and be a responsible parent. Um, I was not going to go to the street forward, to the Baba Jeo Jeo. So I managed to prove that to him. So when I finally proved it to him, that's when he accepted um, my chosen profession. Mm-hmm. So by the time he passed away, we were in very good books. And I don't agree with Maria Magdara. Wait, 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 wait. Um, Judging from your relationship with your father, um, how, that, how did that affect your relationship with your kids? Because... There was a time when he, because you know when you before you grow up, ka, which one is it? Which one is it? Which kind of my parents are to separate? Ah, uh, gg. Sometimes it's easy to judge your parents, good ah, but my dad are to say, oh man, I'm dad on it, which one I'm dad. Until you grow up and you like, you're like, wait a second, like. This guy was just going through life like a normal man. Yeah. Uh, first thing, um, the relationship between my parents uh, taught me one thing. It gave me some principles. Because uh, before I got married, I just made a principle. To when I get married, I, knew I want to get married to somebody that I really love and try as much as possible to avoid divorce and try as much as possible to be present for my children. Uh-huh. So, Wait, what, what, was that coming from the fact that bo- all those things were not evident yeah in 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 my in my life yeah so i wanted to cover up for that so i think i managed to do that was uh, right now i'm 23 years in the marriage uh, in the marriage system and i've got a uh, marriage system <laughs> <laughs> i've got two kids uh, a very good example of a marriage so i think i'm so far i'm doing well so far, you're doing well. Yeah. You know what? We are talking to Monum Kundu here. I got a lot of stories he needs to chop up with me. But there's a song that means a lot to you. Yeah. That, uh, this song. Do you remember this song? This is Don Carlos. Don Carlos. Oh, Don Carlos is the guy. Hear me, oh, ja. I should yeah. have played. Why am I even playing this? <laughs> Anyway, 
Yeah. I want, I, but it's the first song you ever played. Yeah, it's the very first song I ever play, learned to play on the guitar. On the uh, guitar. J.M. Yes. I play by Don Carlos. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And there's this guy by the field that you um, met. Mm. Right. Is he still alive? No, he passed away in 1999. And I noticed that most of the people you used to play with, uh, most of them has passed on. Yeah, I think uh, 99% of all the people that I used to play music with, uh, especially from the time I started to play music, um, they all passed away, all of them. How? Like, was it all HIV? What was it? like? Yeah, 99% of the cases it was HIV. Because there's a period of time around the late 90s, uh, that's the period a lot of musicians passed away. People mostly know of uh, the most popular ones, but Panama which ones? Was, like which ones were, were were really popular in the 1990s? I was so uh, young. Pe- at the pe- time. People like uh, James Shimombe, people like uh, Tobias Ariketa, the, the and the Bund Boys, the the ones who were popular by the canons in Wagashaka because of HIV. But uh, there were also a lot of other um, unknown guys, especially those that work, work behind the scenes mm-hmm. and uh, background musicians, background singers, and so forth. So, but, but what what culture? What was the culture you go on the road at the time because i can imagine there was a lot of because the reason why people most of the people of that era especially musicians would pass on because of hiv was it was a certain culture what was the culture on the road um the culture is sort of still there but what happens with music is that generally you know musicians they travel a lot like I said last time, Guti, instead of dying in accidents, musicians usually die of uh, sexually related um, diseases. And the fact is, uh, sex is too available to musicians. <laughs> what is, you, is that for real, though? Yes, I need to become real. a musician then. It's too available <laughs> to put a mariachi. <laughs> It's too available. Because uh, in English, there's a term they call groupies. Mm-hmm. And the groupies, groupies are real. They are real. Very World, real. Worldwide. Whether you are in the States, whether you are in um, Europe, whether, anyway, you go in the world. There are people, there are women who are known the Pachurungu groupies. Those are women who sort of worship musicians. And they, are, they, they offer themselves um, uh, as sex objects to musicians. Or uh, not for money, for t- mm. some of them. Just, are, just for the fact, yeah, good, I was just with. Yeah, quite it's a trophy. Could I slept with so profound? I slept with Mona. I slept with uh, so and so. So it's my trophy. Well. Can we? Can we just not sleep with the same women, Mona? <laughs> <laughs> You're married, imagine, okay? <laughs> <laughs> I imagine that's what happens, but in no reality, on the ground. Yeah. So. Um, those days, uh, usually people were not much into using protection. Mm-hmm. Um, and, the, and the message of protection wasn't really yeah, outright, like it is now. One, like I said at the time, the, the people were as examples. That's when everybody started uh, getting serious. With, ah, okay, so HIV is real. Because before that, why do you do it? STI, why do you do it? 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 Oh, no. so. <laughs> you know what? I'm talking to Mono. He's with me on the 12th that he hang out. If you've got a question for the brother, 0731 Such a real dude. You need to go pick up his book. It's called Following the Melody. <sighs> this is Freshly Grown, Pot Belly. Even though I have a Tomo Brothers with the pot belly, this song was written for you, but y'all, summer is coming. You gotta go to the gym, y'all. You better go to the gym. It is my station, your station. Zip from Stereo. It is. Got a special guest in the building. He's a brother. He's your uncle. His name is Monom Kundu. And we're just chopping it up. He's got a book out as well. It's called Following the Melody. You need to go pick that up. 0731168045. That's for you if you've got any question for the brother. Get in touch, okay? Mono Mukundu. Mukumongu, you know that there was something that really touched me big. You said that when you started learning music, you were more inclined to reggae. Yeah, but at the point, wait, wait, get get off the phone, get off the phone, get, get off the phone. I'm confiscating your phone. What's wrong with you? So, you um, you were playing reggae, mm-hmm. right? And by the time you wanted to, and someone is calling you. I oh, know. I'll just ignore them. Okay. So, uh, 
you're playing reggae and yeah. you made a conscious decision that when you wanted to play music in a band you would want to play music that's associated with Zimbabwe yeah why um there's some um, truths that are hidden in plain sight uh, in the music industry on it's sort of like my secrets but um, everybody knows uh, i mean if you research about it you see the facts of those a lot of people try to ignore them you find with the, in the music industry there are certain types of music um that work very well if you are in a certain geographical area like if you are in zimbabwe there are certain types of music that if you record or if you are an artist who identifies with those uh, styles of music you get a lot of airplay you get a lot of lot of newspaper reviews but mm-hmm. you don't get any money <laughs> like which one um <laughs> For example, um, do, doing R&B in Zimbabwe is mm-hmm. very, very tricky. R&B, it's very tricky. R&B and hip-hop is very tricky. Mm-hmm. You get a lot, lot of airplay uh, stations like ZFM, Star, Star FM, Power, Power FM. FM yeah. But uh, how many times have you seen a poster in R&B or hip-hop in Zimbabwe? People, people like Sunny, people like Rocky, for example. But how many... I said, how many posters have you seen? Not too many. Yeah, but even seen. for the Sunguro guys, not too many lately. No. It, it depends with uh, the area. Because if you go in a uh, rural... Che, che, che. Yeah, exactly. Those guys are always <laughs> on the road and they're always geeking and they're making a lot of money. So you find with the uh, styles of music, like in Zimbabwe, you find it... Let, let me start, for example, with Mbira music. With Mbira music, you, you have a lot of foreign tours uh, in Zimbabwe, uh, it's sort of 50-50. You can get smaller gigs, but you still do gigs and get uh, Kamarga Nani, but you won't compete with um, Sungura and you won't compete with uh, Zim Danso. But um, outside Zimbabwe, you you get a lot of uh, jobs if you are playing pure Mbira Tsunama Guitar Zedze. Uh-huh. Then if you play Sungura... But it's no fire, Mbira Tsunama Guitar Zedze. Yeah, it's no fire, but it's no crowd here. Mm. Then we, when we come to Sungura, Sungura music, when it comes to Zimbabwe, the northern part of uh, South Africa, the eastern part of Mozambique, Sungura is a big thing. Already, if you play Sungura, you get a lot of jobs in those areas and you get a lot of money in those areas. But for people who don't understand Shona, um, the one is sounding the same. Mm. The, that's what happens with Sungura. That's why you don't see any Sungura artists as you know, like France. I don't know, so Jeme, I don't know, so, yeah, they, <laughs> they just go and play areas in the Mazimbabweans. Mm-hmm, true that, true that. But I'm going to go to the Mazimbabweans. No, they just went to places in the diaspora in the Mazimbabweans. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The same thing with Zim Danso. You don't go to areas in the Mazimbabweans. You just go to areas in the Mazimbabweans, um, diaspora, and in Zimbabwe. Sort of like doing a local gig, but you just in a different space. Yeah. So then in, when it comes to Mbira Zinema guitar, um, and when I say Mbira Zinema guitar, I mean music giving. Zinema, Zinema Mbira Zato, but Mbira Zato is used my guitar, like Oliver Mtukudzi, um, Thomas Mapfumo, Four Brothers, Bundo Boys, uh, Stella Chiweshe. Those guys who play, it's either they play the Mbira instrument fused with instruments, with other instruments, or they play. Western instruments, uh, but playing that Mbira sound, those are the guys who make a lot of killing, especially. But people like Mokomba are really doing it. Yeah, I'm, I'm, yeah I, was, I was coming to them. Mm-hmm. Usually, people who play that culture of music mm-hmm. that know, identifies with, with the Zimbabwe. Zimbabwe. Yeah, with yeah, that identifies with the Zimbabwe, but um, usually using Western instruments. Don't do one on so but I'm especially on foreign tours. Mm. Yeah, but so. How- but, but what about people like Ja Prezo, for example? Yeah, he's, he's in the same group. Okay. Chungu da Asada na so one as well, again, international breakthrough. Asada Bata Skiri. Yeah, Papa, Pane Asada Bata Skiri. But he's on the right track. He's on the right track. All right. Yeah, but especially if you listen to my songs, I get one of Goto, Goto, Wana. A lot, a lot of my songs are very traditional. Are in green. But he's moving away from that, though. Um, yeah, according to him, he just did uh, those styles just for the collaborations, but uh, he still maintains his style. That's what he said. And okay. I, and I hope he means it. So, um, my point is, uh, Panama styles of music, you can do them both notes, but 
kutu nazo itemari nazo it's very difficult so right. i was looking at reggae music because uh, reggae music is my number one favorite type of music uh-huh. but um uh pananda do pina music industry i did a lot of research and a lot of reading and i noticed with um, people who do music that identifies with zimbabwe are the ones who make a lot of money home in that way whether be it in Zimbabwe, be it outside Zimbabwe. Because mm. if you go to the States... They want to hear something authentically Zimbabwe. Yeah. Whatever you do, sound Zimbabwe. Because you can't go to the States on what is the Rogan Road. They have it already. Mm. Well, and what are the names of them? Yeah. And in we, fact, yeah. Jimi Hendrix, what are the names of them? Even equipment-wise, you don't have to match up. So to kind of stay on the same number, which under McDonald's are rich here as well. I used to remember for three songs. One, but as long as one is Mukana. So for you, man, you do a bombare. Oh, you know, beat them for the air. We need to know what they're doing. They know no. It's a serious. You know, for now, in Nyanzi, Nyango got Nyanzi. I got to say, they block you. Because what happens with the American culture is that those people are far too patriotic to the extent that especially the African Americans, they don't listen to anything outside America. My radio stations are they sort of block everybody away, not because I'm gone, but gone. I'm going to touch that with you. So they block you. Yeah, they, they block you away. So for you, man, you would with another with those styles of music it's very difficult that's why when I started uh, deciding to develop in the music industry I did my research and then so good mm, as a my one again again music local that's why uh-huh. I started doing um, traditional music one of the biggest music influences is Thomas Mavumo yeah yeah <laughs> <laughs> uh, I get it. It's because of the Mbira influence. Yeah, and the guitarist says, well, was the uh, Thomas usually the am not a very good guitarist. This line is the best in Zimbabwe. Mm. Usually, when we are part of a uh, bandra Thomas Mafumo, people like uh, Jonas Tole, Piket Shiangwa, uh, Ashton Sugar Jewish, Efren Karimaura, uh, Joshua Tlomai Dube, all those guys were considered um, the best when I'm um, Manu Jera. And they were all part of uh, Thomas Mofumo's band. Mm. So but, as a guitarist, that's why I used to like his music. But you once had an opportunity to actually work with Thomas Mofumo. <laughs> no, you better tell that story. Um, we're recording an uh, album with a new artist in Lincoln Mchinga. Um, I think that was 2001, if I'm not mistaken. So Isaac Chiro is the one who introduced us, and um, how was how was Isaac Chiro uh, as a producer? He's a very good producer, very good musician. He's one person who taught me a lot. In but he's still of, doing production, though. No, he's now working with Chichwa um, Prophet Magaya. I think he's head in the music department. Okay. Yeah. So I think he's taking a big seat uh, the production, but he's one of the funniest musicians we have in the in the country. He's a bassist, right? He's a bassist. He's a bassist. He's a guitarist. He's a keyboard player. He's a vocalist. He's a music producer. He's a songwriter. Zinyandri. Yeah, Zidara. Zidara, Zidara, Zidara. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You say. Yeah. Huh? Yeah, yeah. You you were telling the story. Oh yeah, and then. Um, Where's the studio? He was working for Shed Studios that time. Okay. Yeah. So after he introduced us, Daro Thomas Nupogata, I also did a join a band. Anga Zanza to go chando. Eh, they were where we are. Just go to go to go go. Then what's the current master CD? Why the why why do they do that? Because Ben dresser anga rukside. Ah, the thing with music is uh, even inspiration. Yeah, it's geographical. The way you are inspired, the way you are inspired, that's why you know a bigger percentage of my musicians are not going to go to the sport, but they are going to go to the sport, and they are going to go to the sport, and they are going to go to the sport. 90-something percent of them. Was the inspiration, that's why you notice that Bob Marley never left Jamaica, although he was one of the richest people. He and most of the Jamaican artists never leave Jamaica. In never fact, Jamaica. when they go to the States, one of them loses. Like, for uh, example, Mavado. 
Yeah, at a certain point, he was one of the biggest Even artists. Shaggy. Yeah, Shaggy. Is yeah. Well. He's Abatunza. no longer as... Sanchez. Bini Man at some point. Yeah. And he moved to the States. Even Sanchez. Same thing with the Zimbabweans. We had some 90-something percent of Zimbabweans. In fact, I don't remember any Zimbabwean. I don't remember any Zimbabweans. I don't remember any Zimbabweans. Wait, wait. Let, let, let's, let's, try to, let's try to name the list. Mdara Choma is Rava Jadawa. Aywa, let's be honest. Yeah, Grava Jadawa. Aywa, aywa... Thomas Rava Jadawa. Yeah, Raga Zika Grava. Yeah, Raga Zika. Kutu Raga Zika. Hapsi Sina Grava. Kushka Pagul Chek. Makatu Mbozo Cheka Logs. Yeah, man. Hapsi Sina Grava. Who else? Um, a lot of there, a lot of gospel musicians. When I get us on a crystal bell, I be combo. When I be combo, when I get us on a penny group. I just don't want to remember. Yeah, my son, when I disappear, we go dance all. I checked out what disappear is trying to do. I just go bored out, man. I just go bored out. So, the inspiration is geographical. One, if you're in a certain area. But mm-hmm. the inspiration in auto ya because of area ya ori yaona even ngirini inspiration in 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 affect on a lot of things geographical mm-hmm. no affect even ne mari that's why in the book i wrote with the other son and go to shop ka sere kanto ana ri vane stress ndo ana nyora sere ka songs aka ping that's why you say your peak was between 80 84 yeah. and 88 exactly yeah was that you feel my motors okay My watch, I'm done. <laughs> but you told me. But I, I feel like you've got a lot of uh, you've got a lot of bad blood with with not the church as such, but with the politics that surrounds the church. Yeah, I've I've got a lot of. Um, uh, I remember last week, part of better noise by Facebook, but I mentioned about the Warman and the church do. The unhappiest in marriages. Why? Because one of the soft guy named Timmy Uchichi, the Nuakazo, but Uncle Guadir and Roman Tungo and Nuakazo for a Wait, 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 wait. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> whoa. Wait, say that again. Um, Roman and Uchich, they are the unhappiest in marriages mm-hmm. for a Zdago. Why do you Because say that? One Tungo and Nuakazo. What, what's wrong with Tungo and Nuakazo? Uh, there's a difference between uh, it's wrong in the, both part the husband is supposed to be the head of the family mm-hmm. but the woman in the church in church work as on do my head do not run everything it's something sort of like a research that I did I think for about two years mm-hmm. it started in the church it started in the normal phone and watch on the road about it especially watch on the road around there the west affected so then go to um I told her that I come back with me it's I'm cuz I'm going to die I'm going to die Then I got to say, but I'm going to ask you to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. It's everybody. <laughs> Then I started to ask a lot of people since I work in a studio. So I meet a lot of people. So I kept on asking and no, no one knew to do it. I got to say, I'm going to go. And I discovered that uh, almost every Muruman in the church was at that time. We saw him go to the house. 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 No, guys. Prayer doesn't answer everything. You must understand action. One, you just get on your position. You can't do another position. Back then, that's how the family is supposed to be run. You know, certain things as we fix when we pray. So I was asking, "Guti, so what's the problem? Is there a pin on the paper? Since we change, we are not making fun of this. We are not going to pay for the money. Now, you know, my mother is just passing through. I know that we are not making fun of this. We are not going to make fun of this. We are not going to make fun of this. So it's a problem in Gori in the church. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I like and the way you, you say things with ease. And like it's asking, nothing. Yeah, if you ask, uh, they are very happy to take my marriages. Because they are running things. I know to come back at 2 a.m. and to be killed. I'm Chris, I'm going to be a man, I'm going to be a man, I'm going to be a man, I'm going to be a man. I'm going to be a man. Yeah, I'm going to be a man. It's a sign of respect and it's holy. But I have to remember that she's being a doormat. That's the attitude. And then, because it's not my problem, my friend is kind of part of the church. Times they are not respected towards. So I found that you are a bad man. Did you? Because you are going to rap, you are going to ask, you are going to rap, you are going to come and rap. Then, when the church is open, people are going to talk about you. Throw in front of everybody, humiliate in front of everybody. 
Your wife is there, your kids <laughs> are there. <laughs> How are they going to respect you? I want to respect one of those. I want to watch this copper berry. So, end result, man, I can call it an alpha male the scenario. Yeah, with the, Warume said they have been emasculated in the church and then Fundis do Rosara Rango, the alpha male. No, there's no Makudu. We depend upon the ones who do Ringerishi, Tonga, Makude, Sanese, and then do Ringeri, Murizua Kazes, no get that. Or Mesa Minimizas will be Rizzi. Saka, if I do it, Unopesa will be Rizzi Rago and Kazo. That's why you want to win a lot of cases. My friend is also there. My husband was there because he was not from such issues. Every other man has been emasculated. Yeah, and guy emasculated and then passed. Just panu sarapani one muru me jai jai. You panu shika kumpa manje. I'm kwa zoka anzo ti baba shika. But I'm pretty sure. I'm fundi. Ah, no, it's good. Yes, baba shika. Baba shika. No, get a. I'm pretty sure. I'm kaka we go and batango it doesn't. Kuburitsko. Kuburitsko. So that's my theory. You know what? Shut up. <laughs> Shut up already. <laughs> oh man, it's the 12 30 hanging out, chopping it up with my big brother. Oh, shucks. It's Monom Kundu I've been here. This is something he wrote for his wife. It's featuring Oliver Mtuguzi, Alexio, and of course Prudence Katumeni. Feel it, okay? And Sam on sax. Yeah, Sam Mtuguzi on saxophone. Ooh, yo. He's got a book, it's out. You can totally go through it, it's amazing. It's called Following the Melody. Where can people get it? Uh, there's a bookshop in you know, the Innov 8 bookshop. Um, there's got a lot of my bookshops around Harare and around Bulawayo. Mm-hmm. So you can, people can it pick from, it up. How much is it? Uh, it's 16 from there. Yeah, sixteen dollars. But can people buy it personally from you? Like yeah, from direct. Me. So what's your number? What's your number? Give out the number pretty quick. Okay, it's a zero seven seven two three zero three seven three six. Zero seven seven two three zero three seven two six. Ah, seven three six. Seven three six. Zero seven seven two three zero three seven three six. You yeah. can go pick up the book. It's totally phenomenal. But Mono, you, you still haven't finished the story. Could you chat to na Yahweh? Yeah. Yeah. What happened? Um, he invited me to 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 to, to join his band. Because I'm going to dance and dance. I'm going to I see Chiru. I respect I see Chiru a lot. And can I see Chiru? I thought that when I cut I'm not going to. When I hear that I'm going to show. So, yeah, that's uh, that's what he told me. So he said, uh, "Would you want to join my band?" Ch- 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 but I had a passport, but I was lying. Zongu. Why? Why were you lying? <laughs> Um, uh, I knew he was now living in the States and I didn't want to go and live in, in the States. But didn't he have a, a a band already in the States? No, he had come with the band to, to record. So I'm, I'm about to fight the lead guitarist. I don't know you, if you wanted to fight him or you wanted me to with the Tongo join at all. Is the test to Was quite good. I'm going to to come a guitarist. So okay. I maybe that was the idea. But um, the, it was my dream, my childhood dream to play for for Dara Thomas. But probably I get in the duty dance card. No garage states man. Because uh, and at the same time, the dance or rumor for the duty all want to was looking for me. So. I'm with a choice with oh, okay, so. we, we, we're gonna get to that. Why did you mm. choose Oliver over was it just because of the 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 fact that Guru we were staying in the States? Or it was actually a personality thing that you gravitated more towards Oliver than Thomas Mapumu? Um of course my personality wise yeah, yeah I'm direct to go, you know you know you know attract her more but um the main reason was uh Oliver Mtukuzi always went outside the country and always came back to Zimbabwe. He never left for good. And mm-hmm. Dara Thomas had left for good and he was living in the States for sort of for good. And mm-hmm. in the so that was the main reason why I chose to. to and the Madama Yawe. Yawe and the Madama. In Dara Dara Thomas, the Mamas and you had to join uh, Oliver Mtukudze. But this was at a time where it was, I think, the 
most prolific time for Oliver Mtukudzi. It was during the Derby uh, administration, uh-huh. and that's where Tuku was becoming an international icon for real. Ah, perfect, perfect. Because we used to fill up HICC when we took this Rogumba. Kunzi zogere man in Tanzania, bro. Yeah, space, yeah. So and and this was pamango fungira. <laughs> Yeah, but but you said something in the book that really touched me. That Debbie would once and again sit you guys down mm-hmm. to to tell you about finances. To exactly. say, leave me within your means. How was the how was Debbie as a manager? Because no one has ever told her story. Yeah, Debbie was a mother. She was a very very good manager, and um, she would give us a lot of um, advice. Because you know, a, a lot of my missions they lack uh, direction, uh-huh. especially when it comes to monetary issues. Muna abata mara nanga guys, ukita ma baby oh boy, zuku tenga fasha ni motkari chi chi chi. There's nothing wrong with saying tenga fasha now, man. That would look good, now, man. Because you know, tell me, can you? It's okay to emulate my Americans and uh, the American system, yeah, music industry. But what we have to realize is uh, music Kunuk is a very low income uh, industry sure. as compared to, to the States. Uh-huh. And my opportunities and my American artists, Nati no Kunuk Kakasiana. So the ordinary people in the street are as you mentioned. When we go to newspaper, they think what only matter just because of Buddha. Newspaper one, that one a radio like this one. Auto phone, auto phone, that one. Pure marine zee. If we move down, that it a radio. I'm darling, I'm going to go and buy it. Pure marine zee. I'm going to see this guy. I'm not pure marine zee. I'm not pure marine zee. Pure marine zee, bro. Hey, Babu. So, tricks are you manage? Ordinary people they end up working with a pressure manage my musicians manage. So look a certain way to drive yeah, a certain way to exactly. DJ. So my missions man, they end up man, they around my life. I was in Kagone to mm. meet up the standard. They are pushing one issue. Mm-hmm. So a lot of people they end up up in my financial problems. And we used to have that same problem quite quite two those days. Was it tight? Did people marry? Can do money? Go join a band, nurse. I don't know to move out of you have to live within your means. Trim Zimbabwe, at least America. On. So mm-hmm. it was. Um, but at the time, the money was so good, and your cha- your life changed drastically to such an extent that you, you saved up to save a house, but you were duped. You need to tell that story. What happened? Yeah, <laughs> And the thing is, my daughter is around 70 years old, 78. <laughs> You never think you don't have to But I don't have to worry. What is the virus? I don't have to worry. 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 I so, um, you bought a house. Yeah, and then we tried to take them to court, to Kawasungisa, to get a say, but the guys used to uh, to, to, to boss, I know we are politically connected. Um, Panas, I'm not that kind of thing. So, Maria Donura? Yeah, Donura, yes. So, the house, what, what happened to the house? You have to pay a day. If I do change this, wrong one. It was sort of like a syndicate. Then somebody told us, Udanzi, why do you have a central department of housing, Kupikuma courts, and everywhere? It's like, justice is for sale. Or, Zimbabwe, at times, justice is for sale. Boom! So they were going to go now, Teng and Waka Gona Buddha Samar. It's like, that was not to talk about more money, no, but drama lawyers in the good name. The, 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 I'm sure I'm going to get to the church. 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 I'm going to
What else could I do? Bus ndo revenge. Bus ndiga muro ando ndindo sungo apa ndo ndaka faro mari ndo sungo. So you know, it was such a painful thing. Who knows that? One well, because your life. Yeah. yeah. Bus knows that. Unai ta stress. Unai ta chifama muro ndo sungo. Uno uno na mochi kari chuo ya so. Bus ngai one. One. But what funny difference between ku one and ku one. So that's, that's the type of stress and the guy that I discovered. You know what? When we come back, uh, we're going to talk about why you were fired from what? Tuku's <laughs> band. <laughs> this is something on your on your album. Which which album is this? It's uh, Tunzio for Jin. All right. This one's called Vaka Seka. And it's yeah. featuring Asali. Asali in the Obi. Look down in Kenya. Kenya. Mm. All right. Let's, let's take a listen. The composition, the arrangement, everything. The songwriting, you did it. Yeah. You can produce the thing. Yeah, exactly. That's what I call greatness, man. Like I said, that's <laughs> Clive Monomkundu. He's got a book out. It's called Following the Melody. You need to go pick it up. But we need to... So, 2007. Um, uh, Debbie's in the picture. Chichichichi. Vamanzi, unze, 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 ima passport. Chichi. Wanna get you visas. Right? To go to the case. Mm. And then my passport parungu famba ka room ake kuti imi imi tana manager mnyowana omana tana manager mnyowana chichichichi same mataure vasvika pazvino ndo ba fire band race maka fire we omana what happened uh that one is tricky because we never told anything up, mm-hmm. to, up to now so we don't even know but do, do you talk though with sam uh, we are still very close now there to na same much Okay. So tango is there, no bygones, my bygones. So that's why he, when he came to feature on that song, that was um, 2012, about um, seven, eight, nineteen, five years after we were fired. So, the Jean song. Yeah. Up to now we're still. <laughs> after we were fired. <laughs> up to now we're still friends. But in, if I'm not mistaken, we might do a gig together in Europe in October, if all goes well. So still my face is written. Mm-hmm. Mm. But you still don't know what Maka Fire So the whole band? Yeah, the whole band except for the bass player and the one big vocalist. But everybody else was... Um, was Dudu you, you still part of the band? No, Dudu left uh, the time I joined the band. That's when Dudu left. Um, but... Um, yeah, she had left. So it that's was, when she uh, started her own career. Yeah, that's when she I love Juju Maninga. She's incredible. Yeah, she's, she's just a beautiful good. But soul. But these days, uh, when this is, I don't know why yesterday with uh, the music. She's no longer doing music? Um, Unless if she's just singing at church, because uh, she's now a pastor. So she's sort of disappeared from the limelight. But um, she's she's one of the artists. Waka Penga Uti... She had serious potential. I love Dudu. We should mm. we should call her back to the Soul Avenue. I always have a good time whenever we call her up here. Yeah. But but what's the takeaway though? When you look at everything in hindsight, mm. after playing with Chi Chuoniso and all that, and Chuoniso's Chuoniso's death, how mm. how much of a blow was that? It was a serious blow uh, to me. January wasn't duty. I was not in the country, so I was I failed to attend a funeral. I had been called to do some recordings and some uh, live gigs in South Africa. I had gone to record with uh, Mango Groove. and um, You should get off your phone, please. Just get, <laughs> just, just get off your phone. I can multitask. Oh, okay, I, I, I won't touch the phone. Mm-hmm. Yeah, okay. Um, I had gone to South Africa to do some recordings with uh, Mango Groove and uh, Lufuno Dakada. Mm-hmm. That's when I received a message by social media with the Chinese passed I away. Passed on. Yeah, so it was <laughs> tough because uh, I couldn't even attend the funeral. So I was in Zimbabwe. How was, how, was, how, how was India? Were you close to India as well? Yeah, we were... The, the, the time I was sharing, I'm talking about, about uh, a year or two time, my very close friends. I was going to a gig. And then he uh, just came up to me. I got, I don't know, in advance, I don't know, but I was going to be a kid. And he was one of the Best guitarist exactly. as well. Yeah. So that's, that's when we became friends and we did the one collab together. Mm. So so what's the takeaway? What's the takeaway in all of this when someone holds your book and mm. they want to pick it up and say, yo, why should I pick up this book? Um, there's a lot of information besides uh, my history. There's a lot of information, some insights into how the music industry is in Zimbabwe. And um, the ups and downs, the hidden politics in the music industry, uh-huh. it's all in the book. So if you read the book, you learn a lot about the Zimbabwe music industry. You learn a lot about um, 
but uh, the ups and downs, the politics and what goes around, I mean, what goes on in the industry. At times, it was not going to be a but I'm not going to be a bandy, but I'm not going to be a such questions is in the book. Which is, they get to give a basic answer. Which is, they get to give a basic answer. Which is, they get to give a basic answer. And you know that we should move away from that as Africans. To, yeah. We are good. It's such a big thing that someone is on a plane, and we never really ask the question, what, what, why, why is this being done? Why? When they try to make a new Buddha picture, I got garam dig. Pagan your own the grace. Just because of a garam dig. Mm-hmm. Okay, so Greece City Papi dig is just a means of transport or no. That mentality man, you can do it with a lot of people right away abuse. Because I I know a number of my bands I do recruit our one. I do a bunch of two passport. Because to win up on my toes, chi chi munangons, what to chit and what to quit and dig. But, but, but was touring, uh, east touring, really that beneficial though? It depends. To a band rig. Okay, let's, let, let's talk about your best years with Chugu. Uh, with Chugu, it was uh, very beneficial. It was even studio equipment. Young, that's when I bought it. But with a lot of my groups, my name is Chipere, a band leader. My name is Chipere, a band leader, shopping. <laughs> Was my group machine band lead and then I saw ninety something percent of the money and the band is left. It's a scenario where rich men in Lazarus. You mean I'm a fool for a rubber and a patta for a band lead. You know, it come in most of my bands in Zimbabwe. Mukoma Mona, I have to let you go, but you have to tell me one thing as a person, mm. where are you now as a person? How are you now as a person? Um, in terms of uh, just. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait. Today on the show, I was talking about that. I was trying to pick my clothes. Um, As I was trying to pick my clothes, I noticed that there was no space in my closet. But mm. the I go visa MBM closet, me you not eat me. 60-70% of the clothes in this whole closet I don't even wear the clothes which means that my closet needed to be I needed to clean up my closet. Mm. Right? In your life, Samkoma Mono, what are some of the things, even people, do you need to... Are there any things you need to clean out or you're in a good space, your closet has space? Um, I don't know my dark areas, but uh, at the moment I'm happy with the way things are going. Of course, I'm not happy with the economy because um, the economy is related on generally as musicians. Uh-huh. But in, in terms of peace of mind, the ball, uh, family, my mother, yeah, and madam, to go in a one position, yeah, or in a position, family, and so don't go in cards. You know, what? shut up, shut up, shut up, <laughs> shut up. We're done here. Come on, thank you so much for coming through. What's your number again so that people can go pick up the book so they can get in touch with you and figure out how they can pick up the book? Okay, it's 0772. Three zero three seven three six zero seven seven two three zero three seven three six. Yeah, go out there, go pick up the book, support local. Mkomo Mono, thank you so much for coming through. Thanks Please so pass my love me. to my one, Ka-wan. my and the young ones. Irbo. All right, too nice. Thanks a lot.